Hi friends, it's Laura, and today I'm here with my ultimate drugstore makeup guide for mature women. Now recently Tati did this video and I thought it was an amazing idea, but let's face it, I am a lot older than Tati. I'm almost 54, in a couple weeks I will be. Tati is in her 30s. And I have a lot of different issues that I'm dealing with now than I did in my 30s. I have fine lines around the eyes and large pores, uh, lip lines, my lips are a little smaller than they used to be. So, you know, you go into the drugstore and it can be just so overwhelming, even for a makeup lover like me. When we were younger in the 70s and 80s and starting to wear makeup, there weren't all these choices. Now there is so much out there. So here's a little advice from a friend who has tried a ton of stuff. I spent really hours putting this video together for you because I wanted to offer you the best that I've seen at the drugstore. If you want to cover up imperfections, but you're worried a full coverage foundation will bring out fine lines, I have one I'm loving and it's from L'Oreal. It's their infallible total coverage. I never thought I would like this, but I use such a small amount. It doesn't bring out the fine lines. And as a matter of fact, when I use this, I often don't use concealer under my eyes. I just apply it here and bring it up with little strokes with a flat brush under the eye and I don't even have to wear concealer. I first heard about this from my friend Susan, Little Poet. She loves it. She was surprised by it too and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing it today and I love it. Now if you want more moisture, if you have dry skin especially, I don't, I have oily skin but I still love this. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost I think is amazing. It just goes on, doesn't get into any lines, makes no creases in the skin, and doesn't bring out the pores that I have in here, yet gives me a natural look where you can see a little hint of my skin through the foundation. I really love this. And I tried out a new foundation I'm also loving from CoverGirl, and it's called True Blend Matte Made. Now to me, this didn't look that matte. It gave me a very luminous look. You could see a hint of my skin peeking through. It definitely did not show fine lines or accentuate any issues I had going on. So for me, these are my top three at the drugstore. When I'm looking for a primer, I want something that sort of blurs my skin out and looks photoshopped in real life. I have to say my favorite, and I'm so amazed by this one, is from Catrice. I bought it over at Ulta. It's called Light Correcting Serum Primer. It does come out like a serum. It's got a little dropper here, but I bought the shade Candlelight, and it just gives you this sort of blown out look. It's really amazing. It looks more like a highlighter, but yet it works as a primer. So I think it's really neat. The other day I put that on and ended up not even putting foundation on because I thought my skin looked so great with just wearing this and some blush and some mascara. It was a beautiful look. Now along that lines, I like this one too from Physicians Formula. It's their new Spotlight illuminating primer. This is the same sort of product. It has a different applicator. It has a pump. Out of the two, I actually like the candlelight a little better, but this would be a close run with it. Now this primer is very different. It's from Hard Candy. It's been out for quite a while, and this is more of like a silicone primer. I really do feel it smooths out my pores and makes my makeup last longer, so it's also a great product. When most of us think of powder from the drugstore, we think, ugh, cakey, making us look 20 years older than we are, which is why for a long time I didn't even use powder. I just put on my foundation and went without powder. And the problem is you just don't get the staying power you do if you put a little powder on. And powder can also blur. These new powders they've come out with are amazing. And one I love is from Milani. I picked this up at Wally World and it's called their Make It Last. And this is in Radiant. When you put it on your finger, it looks so uh, sparkly that you think, oh, this would be terrible for mature skin. But when you put it on, I have it on today, it just gives you a very soft glow and sort of blurs out lines. And I actually take this with my finger and powder under the eye very gently, and it brightens the under eye area, but never accentuates any of my fine lines. And I do have them. 
Now my second choice, if you want a little color with your powder, I think this one from Maybelline is amazing. It's their Fit Me powder. It really does blur out the skin. It makes your makeup last a lot longer. It makes it look more flawless, more air blown kind of look, airbrushed. And then I like this too. This is a silica based powder. So I don't dust this all over my face. It's the L'Oreal Infallible. What I do when I apply it again is the finger powdering. I'll put this on and just sort of press it into the skin. And especially around the nose area, it will keep me from getting really oily and just gives a more flawless look. Concealers are another product that can go terribly wrong. I've tried so many that when I put them on, it's one of those moments like, da, 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 you know, my eyes just look terrible. I go, I just aged myself 20 years by putting on that concealer. So I've thrown so many away, it's not even funny. But if I had to tell you my number one, it's no doubt the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I actually use this on my cheekbones, down my nose, under the eyes. It doesn't crease. It just brightens you up. It is so thin, and that's what I've talked about before. So many of these concealers are just way too thick. I see these younger girls just glob it on their skin, and that's so aging for us. I usually even put mine on the cheekbone and take a brush and sort of tap it up into the under eye area where I get such a thin amount yet get coverage. Now, another one that I love is this one from CoverGirl. This one has a little brush. It's the Vitalist Healthy Concealer. It's fairly new. It has, again, the texture like the L'Oreal does. It's very thin and has little brightening particles in it that just lightens up the under eye area. And another one I like that is more of a stick is in a stick form but has so much moisturizer in it is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This is lovely. I put it on the sides of my eyes and sort of bring it down or in the corner and bring it down this way. And it doesn't crease and really does brighten the under eye. As we age, we lose some color in our skin, so bronzer can actually be a really important product because it gives more life to your skin, more color. But there are a lot at the drugstore that the shades are horrible and just don't look good on anyone's skin. I found three that I trust and love. First one I want to talk about is these the Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula. These are little round balls and they have different shades of bronze in them and they are just absolutely stunning. I love these, these are my favorite. I looked high and low for these and found them at Walmart. Another great one from Walmart is this Rimmel Radiance Brick. I can't believe how beautiful this looked on my skin. I was surprised by it and it was so inexpensive. I believe it was under $5 at Walmart. And then, of course, the one you hear about all the time from Physicians Formula, the Butter Bronzer. I am wearing that today as a contour also. That's the nice thing about this shade is that you can, even though it's a bronzer, you can sort of use it for a contour to give your cheekbones more shape. And mm, smells just like coconuts. Drugstore blushes have a bad rap for looking cakey and being powdery and getting all over the place. But I have some I've used for a long time that I absolutely love. They're tried and true. This one from CoverGirl, this is old school. This is soft mink. And what I like about this, it looks just beautiful. It looks like a very expensive blush on and makes my skin look youthful and healthy. It just gives me that little bit of color I'm looking for. And from the flower line, which I'm so happy they're carrying at Ulta now, their blushes are beautiful. They have some luminosity in them. And when you put them on, they just really do look like a high-end blush. I love the little bit of shimmer and even the matte blushes just make your skin look very healthy and youthful. And then this is one I've hardly heard about on YouTube from CoverGirl. It's their True Blend line. I reach for this nearly every day because just when I put it on, it gives me the right amount of color, but it doesn't look fake. I can wear this to school and just look healthy, and I think it's amazing. 
As an older woman, I sort of feared highlighters when they first came out because I thought, oh my gosh, that's just going to make the fine lines I have around my eyes stand out more. And of course, drugstore is known for all the chalky powders, so I was very reluctant to try anything. But I have found some that I've really gotten attached to. And this one from L'Oreal, the Lumi Glotion, I think this is the best. I really prefer a cream highlighter. I just use a dot of this and tap it right on my cheekbones. And I can even do this and wear it to school where it looks natural. I don't want what these younger YouTubers want where they say they want to look like they can see the beam from outer space. I don't want that. I want just a natural, healthy glow. And I think that's what this L'Oreal product does. Now, when the holographic stuff came out, I just felt like, oh, I wish I hadn't missed the boat on that because if I was 18, I would be buying all of the holographic stuff because I love it. But I bought it anyway, and I love it. This is L'Oreal too. This is their infallible galaxy stick. Now, what I like about this too is it's creamy and I can just press it into the skin. It gives a nice little subtle glow a different glow than the Glotion does. It's more because it's holographic, but still it doesn't age me. It doesn't get into my lines. It just presses nicely into the skin and you can't really tell you've put anything on as far as seeing it on the skin, yet your skin has this glow, almost a lit from within look. Now I did a Milani video a while back and bought this palette. And when I saw this again, this is one of those products where I thought, I'll try it, but it's probably gonna look crazy on me and I'll give it away. Well, it didn't. I love these different highlighters. They're beautiful and I also use them on my eyes, so this is multi-purpose. So these are three products at the drugstore that I think really do highlight the face, but don't age the face. The first place I noticed real signs of aging on myself was my eyes, and it was around when I turned 40. I remember looking at myself on my 40th birthday and thinking, what is going on with my under eyes? They look a little different, and the skin was just a little looser there. And I have deep set eyes. I've noticed the last few years, they're drooping a little bit here. So I have my issues I'm working around but I love eyeshadow and I will wear it till the day I die. I love playing with eyeshadow. I love blending colors. I love art outside of makeup. So that's where my love of eyeshadow comes in and I like seeing what I can come up with. So I'm not gonna give them up, but I wanted to find a higher quality eyeshadow at the drugstore and I have a couple that I really like to share with you. And two palettes I bought not too long ago at Walmart are these Milani palettes. One has shimmer and one is all mattes. And I think these work beautifully. I like them as much as some I've bought that are a little more high-end price palettes that were 40 or $50. I like these better. I think the shade range is beautiful. They don't make my eyes look crepey. I don't have to work so hard to blend them. So I think for the price, they're pretty hard to beat. And then my friend recently, Lori from Pride and Photos, talked about this palette from Rimmel. I rarely buy Rimmel shadows, but she said she felt it was a dupe for the Naked Heat. I love it. It's what I'm wearing right now on my eyes. It is very pigmented. You don't have to work hard to get a look. I'm just amazed by it. I was going to a wedding the other night and I thought, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna try this out and see how this looks on my eyes. And the worst thing that can happen is I have to wash it off and start again. And the eye look was stunning. And my husband even commented on it and said how great it looked. So I think these from the drugstore are absolutely fabulous. Now for singles, I don't think this one can be beat. It's from L'Oreal's Infallible line. They're metallics. This I use on my mobile lid. It doesn't look crepey. It gives so much pigment. I often go on top of shadows with this or this pencil from L'Oreal. This, even though it's a cream, it stays great on top of the powder and really just brightens that look and gives the eye a very luxe look but doesn't draw attention to any kind of lines or loose skin. And from Almay, sometimes I just want a very soft look, 
not dramatic. I'll put more emphasis on the liner or the mascara. And I like these from Almay. And one thing I did that I, I really loved was I took my blush brush, swirled it in this, and used it on the cheek. And it made a beautiful highlighter, yet didn't accentuate any issues I have going on my face. I think you could wear any type of eyeliner you like. It's up to you, whatever makes you feel great. I still love black liner. I know one of my friends, her daughter told her she was too old for black liner. But I think a lot of it's just the application. If you blend it and smoke it out and don't have a harsh line, I think any shade can look beautiful. As far as a pencil, I have used so many of these. This is the Rimmel Smoke and Shine. I love how it has the sponge on the end and then I just go over it and smoke it out to make my eye look softer and just not as harsh of a look. The other thing I love is the Maybelline Eye Studio. This uh, gel, now actually I bought it in brown. A lot of times I will wear brown during the day. This is Espresso. I think it's a beautiful shade. It blends out nicely. And then I still like this. I know a lot of people don't, but the Master Kajal liner. This is a thicker liner and I just have an easier time doing it. Some of us have a little problems with a little problem with liner because of our vision. So this is a little thicker and I can just go under the eye very easily and then just smoke it out. I have always loved watches since I was a little girl. I've always worn a watch and my youngest daughter, Danielle, who you've met on the channel, is always joking with me. Why do I need a watch when I have a cell phone? That should be enough. But watches are just such beautiful pieces of jewelry. They're my favorite. If I had a choice of a ring or a watch, I would always take a watch. And some of the things I treasure most are watches my mother gave to me that belonged to my grandmother. So watches have always had a special place in my heart. So when this company, Yord, contacted me, I was so excited, especially when they said they were going to do a giveaway. And all you have to do is follow the link and they will credit you $139 towards a watch. It can be for a man or a woman. Their watches are absolutely amazing. When I received this box, the box alone is something that I will always treasure. It has a little drawer in it here. It just reminds me of something like my grandfather would have had. And then when you open it up, on the inside was the watch. They even have uh, magnets here to hold the lid on. It's just amazing. And they will get it perfectly sized for you. I have a very small wrist, so anytime I buy a watch, I have to have it sized. They sized it perfectly for me. Now, one thing I love about it is the big face. It's a little harder for me now at my age to see the time. So with this large face, I can see it beautifully. I didn't know how I would like a wooden band because I've never had one, but this is so lightweight and the gold is put right into the wood. So it's absolutely stunning. And then the clasp here is really neat. It's got little buttons on both sides that you push in and it just automatically opens up and makes it very easy to get off. But what an amazing and just luxe piece of jewelry. It's just beautiful. Yet, it will go with everything. I feel like I could wear this with a nice dress out for the evening for dinner, yet I could still wear this to school. So I'm so excited about the giveaway. If you're interested, please put watch me in the comments. I have some beautiful lipsticks. I think drugstore lipstick is absolutely amazing. I feel no calling to go buy a high-end lipstick because there are so many that are awesome at the drugstore. If there's anything they do really great, it's lipstick. And what I look for at my age is something that's going to keep my lips looking healthy and youthful and not show the lines that I have in my lips. So one I've been really happy with are these from L'Oreal. You notice that infallible line they came out with was amazing. And these are beautiful. They feel like a gloss on your lips, but it's more like a cream lipstick once it dries down. And it gives you coverage, unlike a lip gloss where you might see your own lip color through the gloss. Now I still do love, even though these are more of a matte look, these 
Superstay matte ink from uh, Maybelline. What I like about these is they last all day. I can put it on in the morning and in the evening, it's still on my lips. That's pretty amazing. So if you're looking for long wear in a lipstick, I think that looks great. And out of all that I've tried, they do not make my lips look dried out. I've tried some that looked horrible that I just chucked in the garbage. But these I've been very impressed with. And then CoverGirl has come out with some new lipsticks. I got this over at Walmart. This shade is Ravishing Rose. And it's what I have on my lips today over some lip liner. I think these are creamy. They're perfect for mature lips. They're not as long lasting. But again, what I did for the video today for all of you is I put on the lip liner first and put this over. And then that gives it a lot more staying power. Lip liner is so important as we age. Most of us are dealing with some fine lines around the lips and also a little loss of volume in our lips. Three that I love, I love the retractables from NYX. They are wonderful. This one is waterproof and I'm wearing it right now and boy does it last. I like to put it underneath and then put a lipstick. I fill in my entire lip and that really makes that lipstick last longer. Also from Maybelline, I have this one. This is their Color Sensational. It's beautiful. This is a nude shade, actually 110 Purely Nude. And I can use this with really any lipstick I own. If you're looking to pare down your collection, I suggest getting a nude that you can use with any shade you wear. And then Essence has some for so inexpensive that are beautiful. This one is their long lasting lip liner and I think it's absolutely perfect for mature lips. Lip gloss is your friend if you're over 50 for sure. It can make those lips look full and pouty and just beautiful. I've hardly heard anybody talk about these plumping glosses from e.l.f. but they're gorgeous and so inexpensive. Also, I have talked about this many times, the plumping, volumizing, rather, lip gloss from Hard Candy. I get these at Walmart. I like them as much as my Buxom that I've paid $20 for. I think they're amazing. And then also, Essence has some. They're called Shine, Shine, Shine. I love these too. These are just like three or four bucks, very inexpensive, and give you that full lip look you're looking for. Setting sprays are a great way to get your makeup to stay on without putting anything on that's going to make your skin look cakey. I love them. It's also fantastic for keeping that under eye concealer in place. Now, three that I like at the drugstore. One, my top pick would be from Hard Candy. It's their Sheer Envy Hydrating Priming Mist. I think this is amazing. It gives a very dewy look to the skin. Also, they have another one that's called Glow, and it really does give you a nice glow to your skin. I think these are both very awesome products that are inexpensive. And then also, this one does have alcohol in it, but it doesn't seem to dry my skin out from Milani. It's called Make It Last, and they claim 16-hour wear. I would believe that. It really is great for keeping the makeup in place. As we age, one thing we have issues with, every woman I've talked to has said this, is that our eyelashes just aren't what they used to be. They're a little thinner, maybe like our own hair, and not as long and lush. The main product I've found that has helped me with all of that from the drugstore is this from Wet n Wild, and it's their lash matic Now it comes with a mascara and fibers very easy to apply. You put on a coat of the mascara, then you add the fibers and you go right over it with another coat of the mascara. It's been the only mascara I've ever used from the drugstore that's given me more length. Because those fibers attach to your own hair and stick, it will give you a little extra length and make the eyes look so much more open. I've never had a product from the drugstore that's done that or even high-end mascaras I've tried have never done that. So I always go back to this. Now one mascara I've heard uh, some people not like, but I love it. My mother even texted me to tell me how much she loved this mascara, but she didn't know I already had it and had been using it too. Is this for Maybelline, the Total Temptation. 
What I like about this is I don't like my lashes to look all clumped together. This keeps them spread apart, which can make them look fuller. When your lashes are hooking together from this clumpy mascara that many of them out there are like, then your lashes look, you look like you have fewer lashes because they're stuck together. So with this, they just go on very full, very butterfly sort of looking, and I just think it's amazing. I've bought it in the regular and in the waterproof, and I think both of them are terrific products. I am so excited about the giveaway. This is such a beautiful watch. To enter the giveaway, make sure you like this video and that you're subscribed to my channel. And then in the comments, put watch me. That way I'll know you're interested. I'd love to see how many people are interested in the watch. And then follow the link. The company will be doing the giveaway themselves. So follow the link and you'll also get to look at all their amazing watches. They are beautiful. And if you win, you get $139 credit towards any watch that you would like. And trust me, this is something you'll just treasure forever. It's absolutely beautiful. So have fun at the drugstore and thanks for watching. This does not make fine lines under your eyes. It is the one product I've ever tried that is just as if you put nothing under there. It really is amazing. So hopefully you can see on camera the difference between the two sides, that this side looks brighter. What I love about this product is you are getting skincare ingredients. You can wear this to bed. They actually tell you to wear it to bed.